Alright, we got a full moon tonight. And uh, tonight is December 13, 2016. And tonight, I want to test to see, uh, test on my solar roof here. We got 3 kilowatts of solar roof in which uh, 2 kilowatts of the monocrystalline panel uh, over here and 1 kilowatt of polycrystalline panel over there. I want to see if I can use a moonlight uh, to power anything. See if we can charge my battery with a moonlight. It's pretty bright out here but uh, we'll see. Alright, so let me show you the specs of my panel. This is sun power mono cushion panel. And the open circuit voltage is about 48 volts. It's an old panel, so usually under the sun during the day it produces around 42, 43 volts open circuit. So I have nine panels connected in series that will produce around 360 volts and uh, that's enough to kill me if I touch the, uh, the wire during the day I mean alright so I'll show you how I connect them so all of them connect in series so positive this panel to negative this panel and then a positive of the same panel go to negative of this panel so uh, keep going to the end and I use a um, car jumper cable and run all the way to this end, all the way to the end of the other end. One point eight one volts. So whopping one point eight one volts. And uh, usually during the day. I can get 360 volts open circuit for this 9 panel. Each panel puts out 40 volts. So 9 panel, 360 volts. And this is the lunar power. I'm going to get 1.88 volts right now. 1.89. It's going up. The moon is moving a little bit. So 1.89 volt. 1.96 volt. Hmm. Maybe there's a little bit of clouds covering. You can see here it jumps up and down, but uh, you get less than two volts here. All right, next I want to try something. Maybe crazy, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I want to touch the terminal and see what it feels like. During the day, this produced 360 volts. 2000 watts and uh, if I touch the terminal I'm gonna die instantly so, but uh, let's see so this is the terminal uh, positive terminal that's the negative terminal right here so I'm gonna touch it with the other hand ouch actually I'm just kidding I didn't feel anything no feeling at all I'm going to measure the current output, see what we got. I got my meter set to 10 amp current. Let's see how many amp we're going to get out of this. So, yep, got 10 amp. That's right. <laughs> Nothing. Short circuit current zero, absolutely zero. Let's see what we got on the voltage now. One point seven seven volts. <laughs> That's pretty lame, isn't it? That's two mini millivolts. See, one thousand seven hundred sixty seven millivolts. That's pretty lame. I was expecting something a little bit more, maybe like 5, 10 volts, but only less than 2 volts. Alright, next, I got my LED here. I want to see if I can power my LED 
with the panels. This is a three volts LED, and um, I got my coin cell battery here, 2032, three volt battery. Let's see if it works on this battery first. Okay, so that's a positive terminal. That's a negative. There we go. It works. Right, right there. Okay, now. Let's see if it works on this uh, 2000 watt solar system. Hook it up to the positive right there. Okay, just going to touch the negative. Nope, it doesn't work does not work. You see? does not work. Well, as you can see, the moonlight does not really have enough power to do anything. Uh, not even enough power to power LED. So, uh, next, my next experiment is I want to see, uh, I want to compare the output of the uh, monocrystalline versus the polycrystalline using very low light, right? very low moonlight. And I want to show you the difference between the monocrystalline and the polycrystalline. Right, so first, let me show you what I got on my monocrystalline panel. Okay, So this is the output of a single monocrystalline panel, which during, during the day, it will give me around 40 to 45 volts DC. 0 0.19 volts let me do milliamp Let's see what we got millivolts I mean 192 millivolts okay so that's the uh, mono crystalline panel this black panel here all right so next is my uh, poly crystalline panel these are the white panels over here these are polycrystalline panels and they are a, li a little bit less output than the monocrystalline but uh, the voltage output are pretty much the same so let's see how many volts we get out of this uh, polycrystalline panel 60 millivolts I'm on millivolts now so we got 60 60 60 millivolts and the mono crystalline panel I tested earlier produced 192 millivolts. So it's the mono crystalline panel produced more than three times the output of the uh, poly crystalline panel. So that goes to show the uh, how much more efficient a mono crystalline panel can produce, especially. Uh, in a very low light condition. Let me show you my uh, sharp polycrystalline solar panel. The one I just tested. As you can see here, the open circuit voltage is 43 volts. The second line from the top, see that? Open circuit voltage, 43 volts. Uh, that's what I usually get during the day. As you can see, under moonlight, it only produces 0 0.06 volts compared to the uh, polycrystalline, which produces 0.19. So, there you go. The polycrystalline is three times less efficient. You see, the output are pretty much the same. The specs are pretty much the same. But uh, the uh, testing condition and the low light polycrystalline is far inferior to uh, monocrystalline panels. And the difference is not only uh, in the low light condition. Uh, under normal condition, uh, the uh, monocrystalline is 33% more efficient 
than this uh, polycrystalline panel. So, but uh, under low light condition, you can see the the difference more dramatic. All right, to show you uh, how weak the moonlight is, I have a work light here, which is which has uh, four light bulbs, and right now only one bulb is on. All right. And shining on my solar panel here on the roof. Okay, just one light bulb, 800 lumen. Okay, let's see what we got. We got 15.5 volts with a single light bulb shining on my solar panel array. The moon got two volts. Right next, we got the four all four light bulbs on, shining on my solar panel. All right, let's see what we got. The moon is still shining above me, right, along with these four light bulbs. Four light bulbs on. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's more than twenty. To adjust that and see what we got here 37 volts with all four light bulbs on we got 37 volts so that shows how weak the moon light to get to the uh, solar panel 